And the awesome fade out to end. All right, hello, welcome uh, to the, well, we'll call this a vlog. Mick here, obviously. Um, I've been promising in recent VCQs that I would take a look at this, the Mesa, sorry, Mesa, um, California Tweed 46V6. Um, it is of interest to me, and I'll just explain a little bit about that. Got some hum going on. I'm using an AB switcher that doesn't belong to Dan and therefore it is humming. Um, I've got some background with Boogie Amps. Uh, as people know, regular viewers of that pedal show will know that we don't normally do reviews as such. We're more about concepts, about comparisons of gear, about getting the most out of the gear you have and thinking about where you might want to go with your tone rather than trying to come up with any sort of this is best or straight reviews. However, however, um, I have some history with Mesa amps in that my first ever proper professional amplifier after the Silver Face Twins that I kept blowing up was a, uh, I'm going to try and say Mesa, but I may say Mesa some way through it. So for those of you that get annoyed by that, apologies. Anyway, it was a Mark III, a hardwood Mark III with a wicker front, which was a lot of money for a 16 year old all the way back there in whenever that was, 1988 or something like that. And since then, um, from about that time, all the way through to my mid thirties, I used uh, Mesa amps pretty much exclusively, be they Mark series, Boog, so uh, what did I have? Mark three, Mark four, Mark five. Um, Mark, Mark five was much later. Mark three and Mark four, a couple of Mark, in fact, three Mark threes. Um, Lone Stars much later, Rectifiers, DC five, Lots of them, anyway, lots of them. Really loved the whole ethos of the company and the sounds and everything. Fast forward all these years later, still using the Lone Star off and on. Uh, I've got two Lone Stars and I love it very dearly. 
So what I thought I would do in this video is have a quick flick through the features of the California Tweed because it's a very different type of amp for, for Mesa and lots of you have been saying, please can you play it on the show, play it loud, play it quiet and uh, give us your thoughts on it. Well, I'll do exactly that. I've also done a couple of other things. I recorded a bit of guitar for Dan's upcoming vlog. I really hope he doesn't mind me including it here. You'll see it in context when he finishes his vlog. And also I did some stuff for my friends at Toman. Um, Chris Borowski uh, sent me a mail and said they were doing some fun jamming stuff. And so I did that too. And I used this as part of that. So I'll cut those in wherever it's appropriate. Meantime, let's get down to business. Um, in a, I'll get onto the comparisons of the Lone Star and the uh, Cali Tweed in a minute. The important thing to say is they are both phenomenally versatile amps. So to do like an in-depth comparison of all the sounds is impossible. So what I'll do is just sort of pick some yardsticks um, and do that. So at, at the moment, the Cali Tweed is in its high power mode. It's got a very innovative multi-watt um, feature, which enables it to go from 40 watts um, class AB using four 6v6s all the way down to, I think, yeah, two watts. You can hit up the uh, Mesa website, read the manual if you want to know how they achieve that, but it's varying combinations of the four 6v6s um, using either class AB, class A, uh, or single ended operation for those of you interested in that kind of thing. What it means is you can get the power stage driving at lower volumes, which is, of course, increasingly of interest to everybody. <laughs> so we'll go through some of that. What does it sound like compared to the Lone Star? So I've got the Lone Star set up here with a sort of what I would describe as my sort of go-to clean sound. And I've set the Cali Tweed up similarly. So they're a similar sort of volume, similar sort of gain level. And we'll just hear the basic differences. Now, bear in mind the EQs on both of these amps are really powerful. So this is really an arbitrary comparison, um, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, you can see what's on the pedal board. I'm just going to turn everything off so that we're just hearing the amps uh, for the majority of this, but you know, you know, it is that pedal show. What I think I'm noticing about the Cali Tweed is it's just has a slightly brighter kind of overall more urgent sort of attack and it it kind of gets in your face a little bit quicker. <laughs> fight to keep the guitar in tune a bit. Um, I was expecting the Cali Tweed to have a much more prominent mid-range, but it's not necessarily the case. It just sits in a slightly different place. So let's do the thing that we want to do. Let's push the channel because it's a single channel amp. So I'm going to turn it down from its 40 watt setting down to its mid power setting, which I think is 20 watts and I'm going to up the gain, all right? So we're going to maintain the same volume level, but we're going to drop it to 20 watts and we're going to up the volume. Let's keep going. This is 10 watts.
Remember, we've still got the Lone Star set clean. It's very spiky by comparison, so I'm going to do the same on the Lone Star. I'm going to stay on the clean channel, I'm going to push the gain, turn it down to 10 watts and up the power a bit. And just to finish off with the Strat, I'm going to max the gain out in the clean channel of the Lone Star and of the uh, Cali Tweed, and you'll get an idea of how much grunt there is at maximum. So gain all the way up to 10. And I'm going to switch it right down to 2 watts. If the dB meter was on, it would be reading about 85. It's pretty quiet in here. So that's pretty much it gain-wise from the Cali Tweed. That's it pretty much flat out, right? If we switch over to the Lone Star now, go to the second channel and I'll push the gain on that, you'll hear that it's a very, very, very different beast. <laughs> Hopefully that gives you a really, really brief view of the basic tonal and gain differences between the Cali Tweed and the Lone Star. So I'm going to leave the Lone Star for a second. Apologies there's no camera on it, but um, really this is all about the Cali Tweed. As I say, we could go on for days. They're both incredibly involved amps and you can tweak the EQ and the gain setting and the power settings to get kind of almost anywhere you want, especially on the Lone Star. But um, what I'll do now is get on some humbuckers and a couple different guitars and just give you some more sound samples of the Cali Tweed. Just gonna try the 335 for a sec and again, run, those, run the gamut of kind of the highest headroom we can get and I'll try the low input as well. Uh, and also that kind of really maxed out low uh, headroom high gain thing. At the moment, you, as you can see from the camera, we're in 30 watt mode. Uh, this would probably be pretty loud, I think. <laughs> pushing the amp much harder and the reverb is much louder as well. I love the reverb in this amp. It's kind of quite bright sounding and springy sounding, whereas in the Lone Star, you can make it darker. Uh, so we'll just turn that down a sec, just for the time being, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's super playable. I love that reverb. I really love the reverb. I'm gonna go up to 40 watts, gonna go down to the low input and just see how much clean headroom we can get with humbuckers. Definitely worrying the preamps there, so we're going to turn down a bit. I'm liking this though. Plenty of eye popping kind of punch. Really nice. I'll just switch over to the high input. Yep, adds on a bunch and uh, we're scratching the preamps again, so I'll turn down a bit more. It's great. It does. I tell you what. It does that mid-gain overdrive thing to my ears uh, much more authentically. If we're talking, you know, those sort of fifties and sixties overdrive, fifties overdrive sounds. Bite, a bit more urgency, and there's a real sort of pleasing character to the gain. There's a bit of aggression there, which maybe you don't get in the same way in a in a more sort of mid-sixties influenced amp, like a blackface type thing. It's really cool, actually. Uh, I just put the Bad Bob booster, which is built into that Maxon overdrive there, uh, which is just a, a clean boost all the way across. And that sent it into a really lovely place. Um, okay, uh, all right, let's try um, some P90, why not? <laughs>
There you go, Mesa California Tweed. I whipped through a few guitars, a couple of pedals on and off, not too many. Um, hopefully it gives you an idea where it sits uh, in this context. I really like it for that kind of mid gain thing. So old school mid range overdrive that's very, very different from something you could expect from, you know, like a blackface type amp. In fact, most mesas that I've played before, it does sound and feel very different, especially in the urgency of the attack uh, and the way the EQ works. Obviously it's capable of a lot more. There's many more shades in between the ones that I looked at and obviously different guitars and all the rest of it. But hopefully that gives you some idea. Um, it's really good fun to play. Uh, nice to hear it loud. Good stuff. Mick out. See you on Friday for more of that pedal show. <laughs>